Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. I got my beautiful wife Christina running the camera. She'll be chiming in every once in a while to help me remember all the things that I forget about all the features of this beautiful house we got behind us. It, this is a 44 foot long, eight and a half foot wide gooseneck Rambler Deluxe with a beautiful special feature, a rooftop deck. And so we're gonna go around the backside. There's a narrow opening over here, but we got a bigger opening on the backside for the rooftop deck. So we come around, we've got one of the mini splits back here. We've got the electrical panel here and the electrical connection. The sewer connections down here and the water connections up, up front, but then we've got a nice wide, we've got a 12 foot wide opening up there. Oh yeah, we... There it is. Panning up, panning up, and there it is, the 12 foot wide balcony and it goes back about uh, five feet up there and then on the on the four foot set last four foot feet it goes all the way across eight feet wide so quite a lot of space up there plenty of room to put a, a table um, I don't Some know chairs. if we'll, yeah we might cry we might crawl out there when we go up there just to check it out so let's come around to the other side of the house duck under the gooseneck here We've got our propane tanks and the connection right here, the other mini split for this end of the house. So dual zone mini split. Right. And that's a vent for the hot water heater. Right, yeah, it's got a tankless hot water heater, and, which is located inside this storage shed. So it's a nice big storage shed, about four feet wide, goes back eight feet. Um, that's the tankless water heater. We've got the whole house water filter there. Dark. There it is. There's the water filter. Yeah, so we filter out the all the water in the house. To the left there is the uh, cat door. There's going to be a kitty litter box inside the storage shed here. And we'll show you where that go, goes through on the inside of the house. All right, ready to go inside? I'm ready. All right, let's go check it out. After you, my dear. So we did the video with the homeowner and it was still not quite finished, but now we got it finished. All right, where do you want to start? I guess we can do the living room. All right. So when you walk in, it's got a landing there under the entryway with our signature shoe cubbies. And then to the right, we've got the storage stairs. It's got the cabinets and drawers there. And we've got a built-in sofa here uh, with a bookcase, a little L-shape. It's got uh, drawers underneath. In the corner here, if you remove this cushion, there's a, a box you can open up under there. There's also smaller, narrower boxes at the back. So this has got tons of extra storage underneath here. You sit down and the TV goes right there or right there. I'm not sure where she's going to put it, but you can put an, uh, you know, a nice size TV, 36, 42, 48 inch, something like that. And there's the cat door. Oh yeah. Tucked away under there. So she's excited for no kitty litter tracked into her house. <laughs> I'm excited for that too. <laughs> That's a nice feature. Yeah. So tell us about the kitchen. So we're, we're in the dining room now, which is right underneath this window. We got a nice window to look out. Those are casement windows that crank open outward. Um, and I want to talk about the finish real, real, real quick because it does have kind of a whitewash finish, but this is actually um, a high gloss finish. You might not be able to tell that in the video, but it is two coats of stain, two coats of sanding sealer and two coats of clear gloss on this. So it was a lot of work to get this beautiful finish, which probably doesn't come through on the video. I think you can see a little <laughs> bit. It looks a little shiny right here. Let's see if we can. It, it's basically a furniture finish. And then we've got an upgraded kitchen in here. She's got the quartz countertops and she got some really beautiful quartz that have a lot of turquoise color in it. So it's a special order of quartz uh, from Cambria. 
beautiful, turned out really beautiful. Accentuates the color of the cabinets underneath. You got the sink with the uh, drop-in uh, components. So you got your cutting board, your drying rack, your rinsing rack there. And, then, and that's our standard sink. Yep. And then the pop-out for the uh, sponges and things like that. Got a little pan oven right there. Got the built-in dishwasher. The, um, it's a drawer dishwasher. Really deep, surprisingly deep and, and big for, for the size. It, it looks smaller. It looks bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. Yeah, it does. Then on the other side, we got a four burner cooktop with a built in microwave convection oven on top. So she's going to do her uh, baking in the, in the convection oven microwave combo um, instead of having the built in oven. We've got, you know, a pull out trash can that's pretty standard in, in our houses. Got the double pantries here on this one, and then a, a full size broom closet so she can um, hang brooms and, and mops and things like that inside the tall stuff. Yep, all the tall stuff inside and toe the closet. kick drawers, right? And toe kick drawers are down there, yeah. They just uh, pop out like that. So I think this house has four of these. And then, uh, this is a great fridge, upgraded fridge. Oh yeah, the upgraded fridge even has an ice maker built in. So that's a really nice fridge with the freezer drawers. Um, got tons of storage space in the freezer and refrigerator itself. Can you pan up and show this I'm beautiful? I'm working on getting to that fan because it's pretty cool. It is kind of tucked away back here, but it is an awesome fan. It's beautiful. <laughs> And then that's a storage area up above the bathroom. Yeah, was, that's the attic space. We got the catwalk. And, and the washer dryer goes in this space here. It's going to be a stacked apartment size. You can see the, the washer dryer there. I'll let, I'm going to slide by you and let you come on into the bathroom. I'll stand behind you. So this is a smaller bathroom, it seems like. It's it's still our standard size, the five okay, by seven. It's just, it's just a ring. Yeah, it's just oriented different. So full size soaking tub. Nice. Is this a magnet uh, shower head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like those. Yeah, those are neat. That's really good. And then this is a cool finish here. That it's not is that tile? It's not tile. It's a faux tile. Okay. Get close. It looks nice. Yeah. It's a, actually fiberglass. So obscured glass. Yeah. There's a medicine cabinet that opens up. Money cabinet. Hosting toilet. People always comment about how close the living oh, cabinet yeah. is to the toilet. So I'm going to sit on this thing <laughs> and show people that you don't actually hit your head on it. You can sit on it just fine. I'm six foot tall <laughs> and my head isn't touching the, isn't touching the, the cabinet. And the lady who lives here is much shorter than me. So <laughs> yeah, <that's really> good. <laughs> all right, are we ready to go upstairs? Yeah. I'll let you go first. This is, we've done one arrangement like this before or two i don't know it's kind of a walk through bedroom mm -hmm. this part is special so she's she's got two steps to get up because right here this is a queen size bed but there'll be some space here so she can get out onto her rooftop deck do you want to crawl out there? I'm not going to crawl out there right now <laughs> with the camera in my hand. So queen size bed fits here. And then people ask, can you have a real door on the bedrooms? You can. There's one. And then she's got her, this is the deluxe loft so you can walk around two sides of the bed. 
the double, double orange combs. More drizz, I'll just kind of show this to you real quick before I go in the office. There's Kim, lovely face. Okay, and then this is her office where she can close the door. We just put yoga mat and staged it a little bit. But lots of nice windows. Did I get that? Let me get this window. Oh, go. This house has casement windows all throughout the house. They all crank out. Yeah, great this window house. package. And then another mini split. Mm -hmm. Keep this into the house. Cool. Cool. Yep. Because it can get warm up here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Should we climb out on the What's balcony the... now? You sure you don't want to get out there? I'll oh help you hold the camera. We we can try. Um, what's the, what are the dimensions of this room? This room is six feet this way and seven and a half feet this way. Okay. So it feels plenty big to me for an office. And yeah. then she's got a bird, so she wants the door closed to be able to close so she, she can hear. All right, Peter's climbing out. He's on the... Hanging out on the rooftop deck. Just chilling. It's a nice view up it's here. It's a nice view. There's our shop. Two tiny houses over there. And I think Juliana's singing in the shop. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there it is. She'll probably put some. Uh, what did we suggest? What's it called? Indoor, outdoor? Carpet, yeah. Yeah, because this is, um, has those little granules. Granule things that. The torch down roof. Yeah, you'll, uh, it's a torch down roof. Mm -hmm. We'll make a video about that one day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a process. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. We hope you like it. And uh, be sure to click like down below, click the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. We love you. Bye-bye. Thanks.